Hey everybody, this is West Point checking in again. Uh, this is going to be short and simple tutorial number four. And today we're going to do uh, laser guided bombs. Primarily focusing on uh, the GBU 12s, uh, 500 pound uh, laser guided bomb. I've got uh, five of them on board and uh, going to show you the basic steps to getting these on target. They're great on stationary targets, but they're also great for moving targets because the laser will track them when they're moving. And uh, it's nice to have a bomb that you can put on a moving target. I'm going to go to autopilot right now and uh, I've conveniently set up four tanks that are moving between uh, the intersection that we did the advanced precision kill weapon system rockets at. Uh, these tanks are going to be moving pretty much uh, to the south headed towards an oil derrick so they should be easy for us to spot this way. Going into the GBU uh, laser guided warheads to set them up it's pretty straightforward. We've got our master arms on, we've got our laser on, we've got our targeting pod on. Bring the targeting pod up, we'll go to air to ground mode. And, like I said, uh, the tanks were starting out at the waypoint that uh, we used before. So, I'm going to uh, set my targeting pod to that same waypoint. And out here, Somewhere along the line, yeah, here we've got uh, four tanks that are making their way to the south. So I've got a SPI set on them, and if you notice, I put it in point mode, which is point track, and it's following that lead tank that I put it on. So here's these four tanks that are moving along in a line, and uh, we're point tracking them. We may have to pick them back up because uh, we'll probably mask the targeting pod when I turn around. But uh, we've got a good idea where they're at. So let's go to the uh, Dismas page and look at what we need to do to set up our GBU 12s to get them on target. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice on them is they are showing 1688, which is the default laser code. And then we need to set up the GBU-12 profile. So we'll go to profile, select GBU-12, and we're going to view the profile. For starters, we want to put them in CCRP uh, rather than CCIP mode because you want to use these to stay above your target so that your targets aren't shooting at you. And uh, we'll try to come back around and hold on to these tanks while we're doing this. So we're going to drop in CCRP mode. So let's go to our settings now and we want to turn our auto lays on. That means that the laser is going to automatically fire. We don't have to trigger it to fire. It's going to come on on its own. And now we need to set the time that it comes on from the impact to the ground. A lot of people set them anywhere between uh, 10 and 16 seconds before impact. I usually set mine about 14 because sometimes I drop from a higher altitude and I want to be able to steer them onto my target. So with your laser auto lays on and your laser time set, you want to save your profile and then you can go back to your stat page. Just like with the uh, laser guided rockets that we did in the other tutorial uh, we if we were flying with someone else you would want a unique laser code just so that you don't have a laser conflict to do so you do it exactly the same way that you did with the laser guided rockets you go into inventory you select a GBU station click GBU GBU 12 and if we were going to change that 
let's say to 1686, we would key that in on the scratch pad and we would come over here, load, actually we'd load symmetrical so that we'd put it on adjacent pylons and hit two of them at the same time. We're not going to go through that for this. Uh, that's uh, already been covered. If we need to touch on it, I can go back over that again. With that profile changed, the GBU-12s are they're good to drop. So we're going to come back around and see if we can pick our target back up, which fortunately we didn't even lose our target, so that's great. going to turn on my uh, helmet mounted queuing system or my Hemix, which I would have already normally had on anyway. And you see where I have a B set. TMS up long, as you know, makes that tank speed. And there he is uh, driving across the desert headed for an oral derrick along with um, three other T90 tanks. Now all we have to do is come back around and uh, we're going to put a GBU-12 on them. So first thing that you want to do is select a GBU-12 and I've mentioned this before it's worth mentioning again um, don't push the OSB next to the warhead to select it in the Dismas. If you do so, you will erase the profile that you just changed. And uh, you'll have to start over, or when you drop the bomb, it's not going to have the correct profile and you'll lose your target. So, Cooley hat up short to make the HUD soy, DMS right or left to select through the targets. And we've got all of our GBU-12s are selected right now. So we're good to drop a, a bomb anytime that uh, we're ready now. We're coming up towards the tank. You can tell because of this little dot right here in the targeting pod means that they're, they're ahead of me. And if we were to look at them with our hammocks, it would pull over to the side and we'll be able to see them gonna put it back on this lead tank and he's gonna be our target of interest uh, we look out the window there we have uh, that lead tank he's marked as speed so we know where he's at and we know where to come around on him we've got the GBU 12s are already selected we've corrected the profile if we needed to change the laser code we would have already changed it at this point. Um, according to the targeting pod, we are four miles out from this lead tank. He's off to our three, basically our three o'clock. And if we look out the window, we can confirm that with our hemics because we can see our speed on the ground. So. We'll move up here a little bit uh, farther along and let's roll in and make a turn. If you notice on the CCRP rectangle right now, we don't have a P bill, which is that uh, line, the precision bomb uh, impact location. Uh, we don't have that line showing right now. And the reason is, is because we can't drop a bomb at our speed from this location. So we're going to roll around and as we start coming around on the target, you'll notice that we will get a P build and it just showed up. And that's because we do have a target. And we're 4.5 miles from him. And now all we have to do is line up the P-bill with the drop line. We've got a tank that's targeted and being tracked in point mode. 
line up the dot in the center of the rectangle with the drop line. The ball is dropping, holding in the uh, weapons release button. I've got a weapon away. And now all I need to do is keep it on that tank right there. If you notice, the L started flashing for me automatically. That's because I set it to auto laze. And um, we just shacked a T90 that was moving. Now the others have scrambled and uh, they're probably going to hold position for a minute. They're not going to continue to move along their path that they had before. So we're going to take advantage of that opportunity that they just uh, presented us with. We broke up the convoy when we hit uh, the moving tank and now we've got uh, two others that are uh, waiting targets to be hit so we're going to move in and uh, let's make this one here our sensor point of interest with TMS up long if you notice it locked on to him uh, then came off that's just because of our angle to the targeting pod We'll gain a little distance. Right now we're at 3.7, basically four miles out. And we'll come back around. We should get a P-bill on our rectangle. There we have it. We're 30 degrees, 20 degrees, 10 degrees from our SPI. Now we have our SPI in sight. We line up our P-bill with the uh, line to drop the weapon. Watch the countdown, it's at nine. The ball will start to drop. Press and hold weapon release. Hold it all the way through while the weapon releases. And watch for the laser to start flashing on our uh, target. We've got a flashing L, and if we follow him in, we just put another one directly on top of him. That's the cool thing about uh, the laser-guided bombs. Uh, simple steps. All you have to do is set it up in the profile to auto-laze have the correct laser codes uh, so that they're matching. Uh, make your target speed with TMS up long. And uh, then line up your CCRP drop. And uh, you can put a weapon right on top of where your laser is at. If uh, at the last minute you decide that uh, you need to move that a little bit because your target moved that's also not that hard to do because if you move it in the targeting pod, you're going to move the bomb also. So we're going to set this third one up now. Here comes the ball dropping. I'm holding down the weapon release button. Pull up! Pull up! Weapon away. Put it on autopilot. We'll watch another GBU-12 come in on another tank. And it's as simple as that. This is all you've got to do to use the uh, laser guided bombs, folks. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to drop them in the comments. Like and subscribe. There'll be more of these coming along. Uh, happy hunting out there. I'll catch you on the next video.